So I think there's something that a lot of people are getting very confused with when it comes to ADA. You know, most people will look at this short term chart, basically from when ADA hit 81 cents down to now, and they'll say that, oh, it's underperforming, it's not doing well, and it, frankly, it's going to keep moving the same direction. But there is a little different theory that I have when it comes to this. I'm Lockside. Welcome to the channel. If you guys haven't already, if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that bell. It's free to do it. We'll keep you updated anytime there's new content live here on the channel. And, and frankly, right now, I will say that, you know, if you bought at 81 cents or around the top here, you're probably not feeling great about where price is at. And I get it, right? The whole market as a whole has not been great since that early part of March. We've dealt with consolidation. We've dealt with pullbacks. Guys, BTC has done the exact same thing during the exact same time frame. ADA, because it's an alt, it's going to move faster. And we basically just bled in terms of the overall market cap of crypto, right? This has been a, a now consistent theme. You guys can see the huge drop taking place here in terms of, of that as well. But what if I told you there is a very big difference between an underperformance in the overall structure of a market and opportunity, all right? So the people who pay attention to what's going on from an ADA fundamental standpoint, the ones that pay attention to what's taking place behind the scenes, they see that this is an opportunity, all right? Now, this isn't a guarantee. This isn't financial advice or anything like that. And I want to show everybody exactly what I mean. ADA right now is doing nothing different than what it's done in the past, and it was an opportunity. In fact, we saw ADA climb from the depths of the bear market cycle to a high of uh, 150x, okay? Now, I'm not saying that ADA is going to do 150x from here. I'm not saying it's going to do 150x from the, the bottom of its, uh, from the, the bottom of the bear market as well, right? When we look back at the last market cycle, look at this market structure and how similar this is. Now, the COVID, COVID crash kind of threw it. Let me just turn off my indicator here, guys, which I'll tell you about that in a minute. But when we look at this outside of the actual COVID crash here, which kind of messed this up. The trend was the same, starting to climb, beginning of the bull market cycle, right? Probably would have hit somewhere up around here and then consolidation, consolidation, consolidation to about the same time frame that we're at right now. This is nothing different than what we experienced during the last market cycle. And we know what followed here, right? Massive explosion, a run of, uh, what was it, like 1,600% or something like that. I mean, it it was a significant surge to the upside. So people right now, or actually even more than that, like 2,800%. But, but the problem is many people, they get confused with times where the, the prices are down or coins that don't perform well in the early market cycle, which... ADA's never been a very good early market performer. It did well early on this cycle because we saw, again, that early influx of retail capital that we normally don't see. Frankly, ADA could have topped somewhere around this, this you know, 60 cents or so, 65 cents, and, and then started its consolidation, and that would have been fine, would have been normal. But because ADA got so high, this looks a lot worse than it does. But again, you look across the market, there are some coins that are down, you know, 60, 70 percent from their highs. Right. I'm sure we all have coins in our our portfolios that have experienced that. Now, what I will say is this is when things start running, when things take off, don't kick yourself for not taking advantage of these opportunities. The big thing that I look at is, you know, what has been done to to further a project during these times? Have they stayed stagnant or have they made improvements? And when we look at the Cardano ecosystem. All you see are improvements, 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 improvements in the way that the chain operates, steps forward in terms of partner chains and scalability. We obviously know we've now hit an era of, of decentralization that we that hasn't been seen really in the crypto market before. These are all steps forward. Don't be confused by price movement during times where the market isn't performing great anyways, right? The thing I've always said, and the thing I'll repeat again, is price is the lagging metric, price is the lagging metric, price is the lagging metric. Price is always the last thing to reflect, whether it's upgrades, whether it's advancements in the chain, whether it is fundamentals, okay? It's the reason, again, I said back here, price is the lagging metric, and now we're doing a very similar thing to what we did before things took off. We're doing a very similar thing to what we did in the last market cycle. Right now, people calling for you know, us to not set new all time highs or us to struggle later on in the market cycle doesn't make any sense because you have nothing to go off of, right? Early indications are pointing towards a very explosive bull market cycle for ADA. They're pointing towards a new all time high. They're pointing towards, frankly, somewhere between that seven to $15 ADA. 
And again, this isn't a guarantee or financial advice or anything like that. Just know that the data does not support the, the naysayers. It's not on their side right now. Price, again, is the lagging metric. So I do want to point out too, guys, if you have not checked out this indicator yet, I would definitely recommend doing so. Uh, this, is, this is the one I use all the time. A referral link is in the description below. And you can see that it identifies some great opportunities, especially on the one hour. I really like the one hour uh, the one hour charts on these, you guys can see it catching some of these deep dips and it does identify the buy zones, the sell zones. There's momentum indicators on here as well. Right now, it actually just flipped into a little bit of bearish momentum over the last 24 hours, obviously with the sell off, like we talked about earlier. But right now, again, we know what the market's trying to do. We know we're trying to build. This is kind of similar to what we experienced back here, right? The sell off before we flipped green and got a nice little little surge of headway here. So just wanted to share that with you guys. And again, if you haven't already, make sure you guys check out that Marjax link in the description below. Uh, there's, you can earn up to $10,000 in deposit and trading bonuses. There's no KYC and that cast bear drop is almost over as well. So appreciate you guys as always. Have a great day. Show your love below. Let me know your thoughts. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.